using cohort-based courses and community on the Circle platform. Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from Mindful Marketplace, and welcome back to Serve at Scale. This is our community podcast where we ask, what can you borrow to build? What can you leverage to launch? What tools, tech, software, services, products, or platforms allow you to 10x your output, your audience, your impact, and ultimately your income on a bootstrap budget. So I'm going to do a really quick, uh, just theoretical uh, sort of overview of what I think is the most exciting and compelling reason to use something like the Circle platform for teaching courses, building your community, earning great money, and really delivering impactful content to your clients, your customers, your students, your subscribers, etc. So uh, I'm going to do this with the backdrop of three dogs that are at any moment ready to explode into uh, you know, a loud bark because I have neighbors that are milling about outside. So if you hear that, I'm going to just power through it and I'm not going to stop this and re-record it like I usually do. All right. So um, Essentially, I'm going to go, I'm going to show you two things. One, here's a new circle community that we're building um, for uh, folks who are interested in the sort of spiritually transformative uh, experience thing, you know, market uh, topic, whatever I'm saying this badly. People who are interested in, um, you know, near death experiences, out of body experiences, deep meditative experiences plant medicine sort of experiences, all about spiritually transformative experiences. I'm just a single person in a larger cog that's building this. I'm actually not even really the primary person, but I'm just doing the circle stuff. So I'm going to use this as an example because it's a new uh, community and it's not even, it's on a trial, so it's not even really fully deployed yet. So it'll give you a good sense of how to actually do this if you're interested in starting something from scratch. All right, so let's go into uh, the community. I'm actually going to delete this. This was just a demonstration that I did. Let's confirm that so we'll get rid of that. Okay, so essentially what we want to do is, and again, I'm just going to give you the broad stroke overview of how you would use this in your own business, but we want to create a cohort, and a cohort is not the same thing as a course. A cohort is a group of people going through consuming content together to reach a endpoint, right? So whether that's a 10-day challenge, a a 30-day course, some sort of objective entrepreneurially that that they're trying to like complete, like writing a book, for an example, or finishing their own course. It's a group of people who are operating in tandem, in community, to actually accomplish something that has a, um, you know, a universal applicability to everybody or, or application to everyone in the group, right? So, Courses generally are uh, completely like one directional. So if I'm teaching a course, and this is largely true of everybody who's teaching courses, you're basically just fire hosing information out one in a one directional way. People consume your PDFs, your videos, your audios, or they don't. They read them on their own, or they don't. They check out the content, or they don't. But there's not really a strong sense of accountability or a mutual mission that everyone feels sort of tethered to or obligated to. And this new sort of focus on cohort-based courses is really driven from behind by the fact that most courses fail, right? Like most people, no matter how much money they're making from their courses, are delivering suboptimal learning experiences to their members. And the reason that is, is because most folks don't finish the courses. I can see, for an example, here is our Podia store, uh, which I'm actually going to show you how to implement this really quickly using something like Podia. So I'm going to take a uh, an individual course, and I have a good idea of which one I want to use because it's a... Um, it's a like spiritually oriented course that's going to fit this the theme of this new community. It's a free course. I think it's this one. Let's it's a so let's actually see how I would do this. All right, so I'm going to embed this course. Let's see if I can again, this is on Podia. I'm going to take the card. 
and this is really not even the salient piece of this per se. Um, actually, I'm not even going to do it this way. This is how you would embed this course in this community. So let, let me let me just show you so I'm not just kind of jumping all over the place here. Let's copy this code. All right, we're going to go back to our circle. I'm going to create a new post. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to create a new space completely. All right, so I'm sort of agnostic about, you know, empathic abilities or, you know, that sort of thing. But there's a lot of interest in that. We have a lot of people in our community who, um, you know, who believe that this is a good uh, representation of their inner experience. And we've had some interesting conversations with some of these people. So I created this, you know, a course. It's got a fair amount of subscribers at this point, I think 950 or something. And it's free, and people really seem to be enjoying it. So let's, let's create a course, and we'll call this Day One. And this is going to be just a, a, a cohort. All right, and I'm going to, in the advanced settings, this is within Circle, I'm going to paste in that uh, card from Podia. Now let's look at this and there you have it, right? So there's the, so I just embedded the course. Actually, this course is a closed course. I have another course like this. Just a quick FYI for those of you who are using something like Podia. Let's edit this. And rather than adding another course and making this video more complicated than it already is. Let's see. I forget how to do this. Let me look, let me look, let me look. Oh, close enrollment, boom, right there. So now this is again on Podia. This is the cohort that we're building on Circle. Right, so now if I refresh this, it should no longer be closed. Oh, come on, you dumb dumb. All right, let's see. All right, so now you can see get access for free. So now this is available. And again, we're just fleshing out the theoretical underpinnings and actually how this would look when you're building this out. So welcome everybody. This is day one of our group challenge. Listen to the audio below. And if you haven't yet signed up for the course, you can access that below as well. All right, so here maybe I put a, a divider Again, now we're in circle, we're building out our cohort. Where's the divider? I think it's up here. So now I'm just styling it a little bit. And then I maybe put the lesson here and ask everyone, the lesson would be an audio. And then at the bottom, they would also have the ability to sign up for the course if they're seeing this, you know, online, right? So if they're landing on this via some sort of organic search, if I had this, if I had this space open for everybody, you know, you're going to get a lot of people who are coming to this by dint of the search engines on the keywords, et cetera, et cetera, or by referrals. And you want to have the course embedded here in the cohort. So essentially what I would do is I would build out this 10 day cohort where people have to go through it together in a stepwise way. And I would deliver, let's say, the course content on Podia, right? So it would be on the LMS side. 
That's where the content separation is happening, where the content bucket silo, and on the community side, where the cohort uh, portion of your course, you're delivering that on Circle. So essentially, it's just, gonna, it's just gonna add a much more interactive way for your members to actually engage with the content, um, and they're gonna be creating their own content by answering your questions, you know, by interacting with each other, by asking questions of you as the circle leader or the community leader, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So I think the idea of course-based or cohort-based um, courses or cohort-based communities is a, which is the, um, the acronym that you see online because everything needs an, you know, like a, cl a clever acronym. I think it's, the, you know, CBC, right? Co Cohort-based uh, courses or cohort-based communities. Uh, but that's really all of that refers to. And Circle is really the ideal or the quintessential uh, community uh, software as a service that allows you to do this in a very smooth and silky way. There are other ways you can do this. There are, uh, you know, you can use Buddy Press. You could use something like Buddy Boss. You could use uh, Mighty Networks or Tribe. But I think Circle really has a lot of uh, very notable uh, advantages over those sorts of uh, alternative software as a service platforms. And again, our whole approach to this podcast, obviously this is a video, so it's not really a podcast, but um, is what can you borrow to build? What can you leverage to launch? What tools, tech, software, services, products, or platforms allow you to 10x your audience, your output, your impact, and your income on a bootstrap budget. And I think that's really relevant here because this is a circle is very affordable and there is no doubt teaching a shit ton of courses. I can tell you that people get far more value out of your courses when there's a community element involved. And the truth is most of the options out there for delivering community are not great. Like I love Podia, right? You can see our Podia storefront. You just saw it actually, but if you go here, you can see our main storefront on Podia, right? And it's, it's a great platform for delivering content, but it's not a great platform for delivering community. And that's where something like Circle really, really shines for those of us who are interested in really elevating our impact when we're engaging with our audience. Okie doke. So that's pretty much it. Uh, cohort-based communities or cohort-based uh, content, cohort-based uh, courses, whatever you want to call it. It's a really, really exciting way of delivering high-level results to your readers and really building something that you can be proud of and that's a valuable asset in the fullness of time. Teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. Thank you so much for watching as always. And if you have any questions, reach out to me, ian at mindfulmarketplace.com. Or if you're watching this on YouTube or something like that, just leave me a comment. And if I can, I'm happy to respond. Okay, thank you so much and have a wonderful day.